Hello and welcome back to another Price CP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our tutorial for today, we're going to learn about text labels in Roblox. To add a text label, go to our starter GUI, click the plus sign, select screen GUI. Now select the screen GUI, click the plus sign, select text label. You have added a text label to your game. You can move the text label to any place you like. The way this works is anything that is placed inside your starter GUI. And by the way, GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. So anything that is placed inside there, it's going to be copied to your player GUI as you enter the game. So every player is going to have their own individual player GUI and it's going to be local to that player only. You can resize your text label by just dragging these boxes over here, the tiny boxes. And now let's go to the properties of the text label. Let's see what else we can change to adjust the text label. So here we have the background color. If I change the color to yellow, it's going to make the background yellow. And I can change the transparency of the label. Let's say to 0.8 to make it more transparent. If I make it one, it's going to totally disappear. Moving down a little further, you're going to see there is a position property and a size property. So they both share the same concept. They have the, the X value and the Y value in, in the position and the size. But again, you can position your label anywhere you like just by moving the label and you can see that the, the position in, in these values changes with the, ba with the uh, label as I move the label. If you expand this, you're going to see that there are two values in here. There's a scale and the offset. Usually I don't use the offset because the offset is a fixed value. So if you set, if you set your label based on the offset, maybe it would fit one one screen but then when you use it on a different screen with a different resolution it would not fit very well so use the scale it would make them fit better on different size different type of screens the same goes for the size here so for the size here you see the default they use the offset i'm gonna make them zero so i'm gonna remove the offset and i'm that didn't do it i gotta put zero in there Okay, and then I, I'm going to use the scale. So the scale, if I put 1 in here, hit enter, you're going to see that my label takes up the entire screen. It's going to go from this end to this end. It takes up the entire screen. If I make it 0.5, it takes up half the screen. Same for the Y, I'm going to change this. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to remove the offset. And then I'm going to put in a scale. Maybe I'll put 0.2. So that's going to take up a fifth of the, the height of my screen. If you like, you can change the rotation of the label. So if you make it 45 degrees, the label is going to go sideways. And now I'm going to return it back to zero. Here we have the visible property. So we can turn on and off the label. And now let's scroll down to the section where it says text. So the default for the text label, it says label, but you can change that to anything you like. I'm going to change it to hello. Now the text size is so small, you probably cannot see it. So let me go down and change the text size, make something a little bit bigger. So you can use the text size here, which is a fixed size, or you can use the scale. Text scale would fit better on most screens. So you can check this box here together with the rich text. And now uh, as the size of your label changes, the text will change with the label. You can change the text color here to red. And the text and the text transparency here, if you like, you can make it more transparent. 
let me now remove the text scale here. I'm, I'm going to use the text size here, which is a fixed size. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to show you the text alignment. So you have the text X alignment and text Y alignment. Right now, they're both at the, aligned at the center. I can change this alignment to the left or to the right or back to the center. And then the same goes with the Y. I can do it at the top or at the bottom or back to the center. Now again, our text label is inside our screen GUI, which is inside the starter GUI. So if I play the game right now, all these are going to be copied into the player GUI. And the player GUI is going to be local to each individual player. So as I enter the game, you see I have a text label right here in the middle. And that's not, and this label is not the one from the starter GUI because the starter GUI gets copied into the player GUI. So if I go to my player, right, and go inside my player, look for player GUI, expand that, you're gonna see there's a couple of things in there. So Roblox put in like the bubble chat, the chat, the free cam, and then at the bottom here, you see screen GUI. That is the one that we had from the starter GUI and it got copied into my player GUI as I enter the game. Now let's expand this. You see our text label right here, right? So if I go and change my text label to something else, right now it says hello. If I change that to, let's say hello world, right? So it changes. So I only I can see this message here, hello world. If there are other players in the game, they would still see hello as the text label because I only change it for this one individual player and that's why it's local. So again, everything you put inside the starter GUI, it's local, it's gonna be local to the player each individual player because it gets copied into each individual player. On the other hand, anything you put inside the workspace or the uh, server script service or the service storage, those are going to be global. All right, so that wraps up our lesson for today on text label. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.